Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 164. 164 and we are on page number 94 please turn to it on page 94 you deal you will see that we are dealing with the notion of units of measurements units of measurements how to go about how do we go about changing the units from metric to English and vice versa today we'll do one problem only I was going to put this problem on the blackboard ahead of time but I thought you will get more more out of it if I if we do it to, if I put it together if I put it in front of you so that you can understand it here's here's the problem it says, it says, high speed train, high speed trains rather, high speed trains between Beijing and Shanghai, Beijing and Shanghai are two cities, two large cities, two large cities in, in, in China. We are told that high speed train between Beijing and Shanghai, the train that runs between Beijing and Shanghai, reaches, reach rather, trains reach about 400 kilometers per hour, per hour. Question is, how fast is that in miles per hour? In other words, they want us to convert the speed from kilometers per hour to miles per hour. In other words, we simply have to figure out 400 kilometers is how many miles because the unit of time is the same per hour per hour. Let's get going, shall we? What do we know? We know from the previous videos when we started this thing on day 161 when we did the problems dealing with distances we know that 1.6 kilometers is approximately 1 mile now this is something we have to know we must know by heart that 1.6 kilometers is approximately is approximately 1 mile that will be our that will be our starting point 160 kilometers it's approximately one mile. Okay, watch what happens. We are nowhere close to where we want to be. We want to be at 400 kilometers. So we have some journey yet. We have some journey yet. So let's, let's, let's see what we can do. Since we have to go, since we have to go all the way from 1.6 kilometers to 400 kilometers, that's a long ways away. Let's multiply both sides by 100. Let's multiply both sides of this equation by 100. 100 times 1.6 is going to be 160 kilometers and 1 times 100 is just 100 miles. So what we established here, okay, what we established here is that 160 kilometers is approximately 100 miles or if you like 100 miles is approximately 160 kilometers. We are still nowhere close to 400. Let's add another 60 to it. I'm going to add 160 to it. I'm going to use a different color. Let's add another 60 to 160 to it, which is another 100 miles. If we add them up, we get 160 plus 160 is 320. 320 kilometers is approximately 200 miles. But we don't want 320 kilometers, we want 400 kilometers. 320 is 80 away from 420. Uh, 320 is 80 away from 400 rather. 320 is 80 away. And we know from here, we know that 160, let me do it in a black color. We know from here that 160 kilometers is 100 miles, isn't it? We know that. We know that 160 kilometers is approximately 100 miles. Well, we are off by 80. 320 compared to 300, where we are compared to where we want to be, we are off by 80. 
So if 160 is equal to about 100 miles, if we divide both sides by 2, we will get where we need to go. 160 divided by 2 is 80. Therefore, 80 kilometers must equal 100 divided by 2, which is 50 miles. Let's add that here, shall we? Let's add that here. So 80 kilometers, we just found out, is about 50 miles. Let's add them up. 320 plus 80 is 400. So 400 kilometers is about 250 miles. There we go, we did it. The answer was, what is the speed? How fast is how fast is the speed of the train in miles per hour? The answer is, it is 250. The answer The answer is 250 miles per hour. How fast do they go? They go at the speed of 250 miles per hour. Which, by the way, is the norm in many parts of the world. Many parts of the world. The entire Europe, the entire Europe, their trains typically do go at that speed. In France, in Italy, in Germany, any, everywhere in the Northern Europe, Switzerland, Spain, uh, all over Europe, the trains, that's the typical speed. The trains, they run between two cities. Many places in Asia, you will find trains travel at this speed. In China, they go at that speed. You will find the train traveling at this speed or even higher in Japan, uh, where else? In Taiwan. But unfortunately in the US, you'll be hard pressed to find a train that breaks 100 miles an hour. That's it. If it goes 100 miles an hour, that is considered a very fast bullet train in the US. Alas. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I know.